Welcome everybody, this is Don Rama, and today we're going to be playing a game that I just, uh, I just downloaded. It's called True or False. Uh, looks, I mean, kind of fun. I don't know, this is just because I can't control myself. In any case, uh, let's do this. Uh, Pythagorean Theorem works in any number of dimensions. Uh, that's a little vague, I mean, it sounds true. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> In 1913, Hitler, Stalin, Trotsky, Tito, and Freud were all living in the same time in Vienna, Austria. Now that, I, I could believe... I mean, I know Hitler went into Austria for... Was it painting? Some, some kind of school like that. I don't know about Stalin. Trotsky... I think Trotsky was actually in Russia. I'm gonna say false to that. Ah. Yeah, well, I guess they were all living in Austria at the same time. I'm wondering if maybe all of these answers are true. Blonde hair in humans developed only 11,000 years ago as an evolutionary response to the lack of sunlight in northern Europe to enable more vitamin D synthesis. Now I know that one's true, but I'm not sure about the years. Hey, that's true, sweet. Ernest Hemingway begged his wife not to send him for more electroshock treatments because he lost so much of his memory he couldn't even remember his own name. Uh, I don't know anything about Ernest Hemingway, really, so I'll just say true. Alright. All else fails, I guess true. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say false to that? Okay. <laughs> so far my... I, I guess everything's been true so far. Oh, that's actually true, I believe. Yep. 4.8% uh, of the average human body is made of aluminum. Um, I don't think so. Oh, this is the first one that's wrong. <laughs> oh, I wonder what the answer to this one is. <laughs> I like the cute little animals that come in to bring me my questions. The first constitution in Europe was the Ukrainian constitution. Uh, why not? That's true. <laughs> Let's see if we can get to ten correct answers. Oh, oh no, it's this one. That Jesus, is out of questions already? I'm gonna know all these questions by the time I'm done with this video. There's a 42% decrease in air quality throughout the U.S. on the 4th of July as a result of fireworks displays. I'm gonna say yes. 4.8% of the average human body? No, that was false. This is like one of the two false questions I've had. <laughs> Pushkin led his race from the Carthaginian commander Hannibal. Uh, I, I'm terrible at history. I don't know who Pushkin is. It sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna say true. Oh, okay, that one's false. Alright. Let's see here. On the hill of Tara in Ireland contained the Ark of the Covenant, and the Irish were part of the lost tribes of Israel. I'm gonna say false to that. Honeybees that return to the hive drunk are punished. Um, yes, because the bees are all totalitarian government. Shit, that's true. <laughs> There's a rare sleeping disorder that causes people to sleep for weeks at a time, waking only to eat. I think that's a thing. The Queen herself doesn't need a passport, since all British passports are issued in her name. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it sounds like something that Great Britain would do. Uh, the last king of Greece, Constantine II, won Greece's first Olympic gold medal since 1912 in the 1960 Summer Olympics. Um, I'm going to say false to that. I guess that was true. Alright, let's do this again. The man who created the modern American flag did so for a high school project and received a B- for it. I think I've heard that one before and it probably is true. And I was right. Awesome. A woman sued a hospital claiming a CAT scan made her lose her psychic powers. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> uh, hello, Tara. And I, okay, yeah, that was false. Monkey. Albert Einstein was an avid bodybuilder. No. <laughs> no. In China, John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath is translated as Angry Berries. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, candy sales dropped 20% after the movie, oh, 28% after the movie The Social Network was released. 
false. All right. The smallest prison in the world can hold a capacity of two prisoners. Oh, say true. So I'm sure there's a gulag someplace that's like just a pit in the ground with the cell. <laughs> Isaac Newton invented the game Hopscotch. I'm gonna say true to that. I think he did. But I disagree. I bet he did actually invent it. He's trying to steal his glory. Uh, 12 million poppy deaths since 2009. I'm gonna say yes. See, I'm guessing at half of these. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> no, I don't even have to read that one. Um, yes? No? Hmm. Well, who's to tell what J.K. Rowling actually wanted to do? Ozzy Osbourne's DNA has been sequenced to see how he's still alive after a life of hard drug use and drinking. I wouldn't say false to that. Really? Well, if there's one person to study to see why they're still alive, it's going to be Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> yes, that is a song about a cockroach. That's exactly what it means. La Cucaracha is a cockroach. U.S. and over U.S. and U.K. overthrow first Iranian democratic government. What? That's that's English. Let's see, Drew. One of the cosmonauts claimed that aliens came to Earth in order to stop a nuclear war against Russia. That was actually an astronaut, but I'll say true, because... Because I know there is an astronaut out there who did it, but was later said to admit that he was wrong or something. I don't know. That's all this government conspiracy stuff. <laughs> Edgar Case correctly predicted the release date of Half-Life 3. It's not freaking out yet. <laughs> I don't even know who Edgar Case is. There is an abandoned subway station under City Hall in New York that no train stops at, but you can see. That's true. Agatha Christie was a surfer. Why not? <laughs> Approximately 62% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings accounts, and 21% don't even have a savings account. That is true. Beretta is the oldest gun company in the world, being established 1526 in Brescia, in Italy. Brescia. Um, I don't know, so I'm going to say true. The legend of Hercules was invented by the ancient Sumerians. Oh. I think that was actually Sinbad that they made up. And this is my last question. Uh, let's say true. Yeah, I was right. Okay. I wasn't positive. Alright, so one last try, see if we can get all ten. All gypsies live in caravans. False. There are gypsies who don't live in caravans because they have their own will and can make their own life choices. Doritos were originally created by Disneyland to make use of the leftover tortilla. No. <laughs> yes? Alright. I didn't even know Disneyland had tortillas. <laughs> Alabama had redefined pie to 3.0 to bring it in line with biblical values. You know, that's something that I wouldn't put past Alabama. <laughs> I am happy to get that lost right there. Uh, okay, let's do this. True. Barack Obama was born in Kenya. That's false. He was born in Hawaii. The man who created the modern American flag did so for, yeah, yeah. Since a little bit of political leaning in this, uh, in this video. No. Really? Hmm. Oh yeah, I said that was going to be the last one. This will be the last one. Google sent an email to its employees warning that a python was loose in its New York office on April 1st, 2007. It was not a joke. <laughs> I remember hearing about that one. Uh, that one was true, if I remember correctly. As punishment for you, policemen are forced to wear a Hello Kitty armband. Let's just say true. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Bears will not attack you if they can't see your eyes. That's false. They will attack you because you're in their territory. Sweden imports 80,000 tons of rub rubbish a year from Norway. That's, I believe that's true, actually. When asked what his IQ was, Stephen Hawking said, I have no idea. People who boast about their IQ are losers. <laughs> He's actually known to say stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, the inventor of the pop-up ad later apologized for creating... Yes, I would too. 
<laughs> it's not just a bane of humanity. Koala bears have fingerprints that are identical to human fingerprints. Crime scene experts have, even can mistake one for the other. And say yes to that. Ah, I was right. <laughs> Alright, last one. All this all that remains of Shakespeare's handwriting are six signatures, none of which are spelt Shakespeare. Oh, that sounds like something that's true. Oh. Uh King Henry the Eighth. Um yeah. Uh, he was he was kind of a Oh, dang. That's the last one too. Alright, well that's it for this episode of Steam Controls My Life. This was true or false, and really, I mean, it's a fun little game. It's If you like true or false answer questions, it's just a little quiz game. It's free. If you want to try it out, I mean, you got most of the questions here. And if you want to support the developer, they have a DLC in there that's like two or three bucks. And yeah, I mean, it's fun, but it's basically just a glorified Flash game. So, buy at your own risk. It's Don Rama out. <laughs>